Five years. It has been five years since the original release of the critically acclaimed Undertale. So it's only natural that this game gets a sequel, right? But little did we know, we will have to wait only three years for that to come true. But it's not even the full game. Only a chapter of it. Yep. For this episode of Trash or Treasure, I'm taking a look at the first chapter of Deltarune before Chapter 2 gets released by the end of the shitfest that is 2020. So, is Deltarune Chapter 1 trash, or is it a worthwhile treasure? Let's find out! So Deltarune Chapter 1, and what I'm going to assume the rest of Deltarune is, it's an RPG game developed and published by Toby Radiation Fox for the PC and Mac version, and 8 to 4 for the PS4 and the Switch version. It was released on Halloween of 2018 on Windows and Mac in February of 2019 for PS4 and Switch. Sorry Xbox owners, but you got cucked hard once again. But for this video, I'm taking a look at the PS4 version since that's the only version I can record from. Actually, development of Deltarune began in 2012, though the battle system doesn't resemble that of Undertale, but rather the turn-based Final Fantasy games like any game from the original trilogy on NES and Final Fantasy The Four Heroes of Light on the DS. So let's go over that story. So after creating our avatar we are introduced to our main character Chris, a human living in a village that seems to be populated by only monsters. And once again we are introduced to the lovable goat mother Toriel. Chris gets dropped off at school where Toriel also teaches at and we are introduced to the resident bitch of the school, Susie. We get told to get some chalk and head to the supply closet. We are then taken to a place called the Dark World. It's here we are met with Rouse, who is a prince of dark. So, discount Dracula? One exposition dump later, Susie decides to be Susie and chooses not to help. We are then introduced to the son of the king, Lancer, who Susie joins with. But later the four of them become a team, only to get thrown into a dungeon within the king's castle. Except for Lancer, since he's the son of the king. We escape, and after getting past some hench monsters of the king, we meet the king himself. And with the help of Lancer and the king's own helpers, we overthrow the king. We then return to the real world, and no matter what you do, whether it's pacifist or genocide, the ending will always have Chris tear their own soul out, yeet it into a birdcage, draw a knife, and then turns to the screen with a sadistic grin with an eye glowing red, thus ending Deltarune Chapter 1. And overall, the story is pretty good. Definitely a more bite-sized story compared to Undertale, but I say the story of Deltarune Chapter 1 is pretty good in its own way. But can I say the same thing to the gameplay? Deltarune's gameplay, at least for Chapter 1, is very different compared to Undertale. For one, the battles take place with a side view battle. Top down perspective, where on the left we have our heroes, and the other side we have our enemies slash bosses, which there are four bosses. One of the four being a bonus boss in the form of Jevil. In terms of the actual battle system itself, I say this is better than Undertale. Who knows, maybe I just love side view battles more than seeing the battle through the character's perspective. The battles kinda work like Undertale, we still have our bullet hell dodging as well as complementing our enemies. One unique thing about these battles is that Susie acts on her own, so we have to warn the enemies about her attacks. So that's the gameplay of Deltarune. Overall, it's pretty fun and great. The OST, while not as memorable as the likes of Hopes and Dreams, Bone Trousel, his theme, Your Best Nightmare, and Megalovania, the OST is still what I consider good background music, especially the Garden of Hopes and Dreams, or Fields of Hopes and Dreams, whatever it's called. That is some pretty good background music if I do say so myself, so OST gets a pass. So let's recap everything I went over. The story is pretty good, the gameplay is pretty fun, and the OST is also pretty good to listen to. Here are my final thoughts. Overall, I say Deltarune Chapter 1 is definitely a fun little follow up to Undertale. Plus, while Undertale costs 15 bucks to download, I'm lucky I got mine for free, Deltarune Chapter 1 is free on all platforms. 
With that in mind, Deltarune Chapter 1 gets my score of a perfect 10 out of 10, with my rating of a must play. Now, I want to know from you all, did you play Deltarune Chapter 1 and could you possibly recommend it to a friend and are you excited for the possible second chapter? Leave your answers in the comments below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and while you are here, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and GameJolt. Links are down below as always. I've been Horror Kid. I will see you all in the next video. Take care everybody.